Hey there, I'm Al. A few years ago, I created a video in Maya 2018 called Arnold Glow. I've had some viewers tell me that it doesn't work inside of Maya 2020. So today we're going to jump in, test it, see if it works, if there's any hiccups, uh, discuss them, and then make our glow even better. So before we dive in, be sure to subscribe. Let's do it. Okay, so let me set the scene. I'm going to need a plane. Scale that bad boy up. We're going to use a sphere. Actually, we're going to use two spheres. Let's put one there and one there. Now in the previous video, which you can be seen at the top, we go to our hyper shade, which is this blue ball at the top. Go down on the left hand side to Arnold, shader, and then AI standard surface. So with this selected, what we need to do is on the right hand side, go to emission. So I'm just scrolling down and I'm gonna bump up the weight here. So this material should be glowing and now I'm gonna pick a color. So in 2020, uh, also in 2019, I think Maya has some security things that they've added, at least on a Mac. It'll say, warning, are you sure you want Maya to let you pick a color? And you'll be able to go into your settings on your Mac or your PC and say, yes, please allow this color picking option. So that's where you're getting stuck. Look at your security preferences. So let's pick a different color here. And we're just going to render it. By default in 2020, um, it's set to Arnold Renderer and everything's black because we don't have a light. But instead of adding a light, what we're going to do, oops, stop. What we're going to do is just take this material we created, middle mouse click and drag it onto my sphere. Let's re-render that. Great. So now you can see that this color is actually glowing. It's casting light just a little bit onto the plane, which is really cool. This was basically it on the previous video. But let's say we wanted to take this a step further. I'm going to create another one of these real quick for that other sphere. I'm going to go to Arnold Shader AI Standard Surface. We've got our new material here on a mission. Let's pick a different color. Looks good. Bump up that weight. And middle mouse click and drag it onto the sphere. Let's render, see what we have here. So I've increased uh, that emission amount. So that's why this one is glowing more. This is also, I think, a brighter, more saturated blue than this pink. So if I were to come in here and say, all right, we want this pink to be all the way over here. That way we would get the most out of this glow. Let's bump this weight up. Cool. Let's render that once more. Great. Super pretty. I'm going to press this to temporarily save this render so we can just see where we've come from. All right. This is great and all. Look what happens when I get rid of this plane. These just look like flat shaded spheres. So the illusion that we have going here, and I say illusion, in this 3D scene, right? 3D, it's perfect, it's pristine. They, we have to create the imperfections. You know, if you were to create like this perfect mailbox, a real mailbox, even straight from the factory, has dents, it's got little paint chips, it's got all these little issues. And the same thing with this simple, simple scene. So these spheres are casting light onto the plane, but there's nothing in the air. So if we were to take a look at uh, just like a street light, this light just looks like it's glowing, kind of like that unshaded feel of those spheres. But if it were foggy, right, that's when we see this really cool effect of the light actually uh, reflecting and bouncing off and bouncing around and scattering through dust, snow, rain, things like that. Even in your house, you know, bright early morning, you've got the sun shining through your curtains. You can see little dust particles. You can see like the volumetric rays coming through. That is what we're going to add. So to do that, that's super, super simple. But we got that saved. And instead of using a material, we're going to do something slightly different. Close that for now. 
we'll just add the Lambert one back onto this. So this is just gray. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to duplicate this sphere and duplicate this sphere. Now, if you're super organized, which I probably should be, but I am not, you can name these. Um, so we'll call this one light and we will call this one light two, just to denote what in the world's going on here. I've got a light and a sphere here. We'll call this ball one and ball two. So we know that if I render this, it's gonna be black. So let's actually turn this sphere and this sphere, which is light one and light two, into mesh lights. So I'm gonna select both of these. Actually, we'll do them individually. I'm gonna select light. I'm gonna to go to Arnold lights and mesh light. So when I click that, let's see what happens. If I render this, Ooh, something interesting is happening here. So it is casting light onto my scene, which is pretty darn cool. And if I ever want to get back into that, you can expand it. Here's the intensity, the color. So let's go ahead and pick that pink color. And now let's go to light two. So light two, Arnold lights, mesh light. Pick the blue like a cotton candy colors here. Let's render this again. So very subtly we can see, okay, this mesh light is working and this is working. Great. Let's bump up the intensity. Let's do maybe two. Same thing for that pink light. Render it, see how things are looking. Okay, I'll probably have to bump it up to like 10 or something. And for, as demonstration purposes, let me... Just go ahead and hide these two balls so we can actually see what's happening. So we cannot see the geometry currently of this mesh light, but it is casting light, which is pretty cool. But that's not the end of it, because look what happens. If I were to hide this, it's black, right? There's nothing to catch the light. Okay, I had to bump those up. So instead of having the light just cast and catch on the plane, what we're going to do is have basically like little dust particles in the air. So far, we've come from the material that's just glowing and casting light. We've turned it into a mesh light, which is currently just casting on the plane. And this is super easy. So what you need to do is go to your render settings, which is next to your hypershade. Under Arnold Renderer, go all the way down to environment. Once there, hit the checker box for atmosphere. And we want to create an AI atmosphere volume. And the only thing we're going to play with in this video is density. So let's take that up to 0.5 and see what happens. Okay, much different results. So we can see that this light is actually working. It's casting on the plane, but it's also casting into the atmosphere, right? The, the particles in the air, so to speak. So this has created a super cool effect very quickly. We went from this being pretty dang boring, it is glowing, to this. Now, we're going to do a couple more things. You see how it's really grainy? We can fix that in the samples of these lights. So we can play with that later if you want. Also, these samples in your render settings. So what we're going to do is take the two materials we made earlier and add them to each sphere. So let's grab ball one, add that pink, and ball two. If I'm holding right click, go up to assign material to selection, bam. Let's go ahead and render this. Awesome. So as you can tell, this looks much better, right? We went from here, which is pretty darn boring, to this. Now this is uh, probably way too much atmosphere. So remember to get back to that, Render settings, Arnold renderer tab, down to environment. You can hit this black arrow and it is going to take you over here. So let's do 0.2. So as you can see, this is a much more subtle look with a little bit less atmosphere. 
feel free to play around with this. So that was Arnold Glow in Maya 2020. If you enjoyed the video, you like what you saw, you like what you heard, please subscribe and I will see you next time.